What? Pineapple and pudding. Doesn't work. And what else could work but uh, <laughs> Helper Wizard and John. Semis, everyone. We're getting in here with John versus Helper. This has been a, I believe, historically John favored matchup. Both uh, pretty defensive players in their own different ways, but right now we're seeing Helper putting on the aggression here. I, I don't think Helper has a defensive bone in his body right now. He has felt so good after that last King set. He's like, I can do it again! Oh my goodness, and with the zero to death to boot. I mean, Helper is a very different type of defensive where, you know, he can just throw out the Sora aerials, and because Sora gets so much out of any single, like, scrap win, it's just like, you know, I'm gonna sit here swinging my arms, and if you run into it, it's your fault. That just like that down air John. is John's fault. Well, you know. You know, we're, we're experimenting with a, a two-stock uh, format here at a just loser semis exclusive. Right here at Xeno 315. That's the, that's the type of innovation that you can expect from House of 3000. Innovating production and in-game rules. Well, which is kind of hilarious to think about because Dill is usually one of the more conservative folks when it comes to stage choice. I really wanted to change things up. I mean, I don't know, because you, you've got John on the screen, Mr. Small Battlefield himself. Yes. The mayor of Small Battlefield. Oh, that was almost such a good pickup from Helper, but you can see Helper rolling his eyes in the player cam. Yeah, can we can we check Helper's knee after this? You know, I want to make sure that he hasn't left a mark. <laughs> oh, missed it once again. After such a great first stock, we're starting to see this Helper stumble a little bit uh, for these last two. Never mind. This is still doable. Yep, Helper taking a moment while John finds deep breathing of his own. Helper also taking a moment to breathe in as he steals himself for this final stock. Oh Very my gosh. scary. Number still able to make it back to the ledge. Very hyper sense on Helper right now. He can't get hit by anything too bad. Of and the moment just at it. Well, just the a, sun. Yeah, just a little bit middle sun salutation. So that's well, just little Sunburn little, never hurt anybody. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, rage on the board. For Sora, he's going to be able to make it back. That aerial sweep not taking the stock just yet, even that far off stage. All right, John setting up for, oh my gosh, deep breathing is back. What a parry! Ooh. That's going to be huge for Helper. Yeah. Oh no. It's a little three-piece there, but sets up for the juggle situation, and Helper is actually the one to take first stop or first game. Yeah, you know, Helper can't really have a pop collar, but uh, he's popping up his shirt like, yep, <laughs> that's right. That's me. <laughs> he's beating his chest. <laughs> Got a hyper soft up, dominance. Man. Oh, man. What a good chase we had there. He did it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I still think that first stock was a thing of beauty, though. Like 85%, going in strong, dragging down into the back air. And I think I think Helper wants a repeat of that. We want to see this momentum go, which is why I'm going to stand by what I said. Helper can beat John Numbers in this set. I mean, you definitely you're going to have to contend with uh, John Numbers later in a set. Which really, the longer that you play John Numbers, the more powerful he becomes. God, it's like a third phase boss fight. It's <laughs> John Numbers is really like the Broly of. Uh, House of 3000. He learns as he uh, fights. Uh, uh, uh. I never watched Dragon Ball. I don't get that reference. Super Broly was good. I super don't get that reference. <sighs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know. I know. I didn't have a very I mean, John good male childhood. Angry, so. <laughs> Just get angry. Ooh. You know. All right. Helper air dodging back onto the ledge. Being a little risky with that Blazaga as John Numbers just uh, goes up and shields. <laughs> Helper <laughs> taking a moment to readjust yeah. the seats. Yeah, trying to get trying to get a better angle on the TV. Helper right now really being the one who is forced to you know push the issue in this neutral. As you know, Weefit she's got that cardio in. She is able to make her way to the other side of the stage. I'm sorry, is this those... the last game? That was the same kill. I mean, maybe 150 damage later, but... And, well, yeah. But at least Helper's not getting uh, zero to death right back. He got a little bit of extra credit. 
Hey, 15% is always good. That's yeah. the difference between an A and an A+. Plus. Every every little percent matters. What, what a pick up on the down tilt, but unfortunately not able to find anything out of it. Oh my gosh, we're seeing some great edge guarding here. Oh my gosh, the patience. Off stage scramble, but Helper is the one to find the grab out of it. Oh, okay, yeah. I super agree with that. That was not a that was not a safe position. That was, you know, if Helper up be there, that was down air city. The helper was getting a little bit of flashbacks there from game one. I mean, it just happened, and Ooh. already he's qualified for PTSD. And an aggressive Sonic Blade as well. Helper keeping up the pressure, but getting. Whoa! Yeah, that's a that's a five ninety nine counter right there. Doesn't matter how far out John weaves. That counter is going to find him and find Helper the second stock, too. And people now, wonder why these DLCs never go on sale. Now when you have moments like that. <laughs> Off stage, John hasn't taken any damage. Yeah, Helper, Helper. Helper may be getting a little bit antsy here to start this last stock because he kind of runs his face into a couple soccer balls, just trying to find this extra credit on John. There we go, finding the up air. That's a just a good little three-piece juggle. Oh, that, that was the, that was amazing. Now, what could have happened? Thank you. Uh, ooh. Oh my gosh. A good air dodge back in John on their possible last tournament stock. What Helper's been doing a really good job of, I've been noticing, is waiting for John to start charging up the Sun Salutation and maybe just uh, bopping them on the head whenever they get the chance. But once that Sun Salutation is online, they're waiting for John to throw that out first, so that option is gone. And fully online, that's a death. No, no, not without deep breathing. Even Helper looked a little bit surprised in the camera there. Don't, guys, don't forget that we've been forward throw was trash. <laughs> I mean, I I'm, I'd like to believe. Just, needs so to be in, she to needs to be in. She needs to be in. When a deep breathing kills. She needs to be in survival horror mode, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you're in the survival horror. <laughs> You Whenever you play John, you get like the little like subtitle, Enter the Survival Horror. There's no go, it's just survival horror. I think whenever We Fit Trainer gets deep breathing online, it should be playing Left 4 Dead 2 music. Can someone make a mod that when she has deep breathing, it gets the screen shake with every step like Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And, and um, what else? Uh, make the corners like, you know, faded to black and shit. Oh, I would <laughs> love that. A little sepia yeah. tone. Ooh! Ooh! That forward smash, risking it all. Helper <laughs> Helper does that specific setup a lot, which means that you know John has seen it. Yeah, you, you but you can't just hold on to that forever. All right, this is going off to the other side. Set yeah. up with the soccer oh ball. Oh my god, the what? slow soccer ball? Yeah, that just like dribbled into his face. Okay. Oh, that could have been no. huge. That was Zaga. Almost actually connected, but he reversed it, and you know Helper is kicking himself for that one. Slapping himself. Remember, he slaps yeah, himself. That's true. Okay, but honestly, that was a beautiful play. Stalling at ledge. <laughs> Praying to all the gods and then some. <laughs> and the shrug. Shrug it off. Yeah. Get us back into game three. You have to do that. You know, if you lose a round, it doesn't matter. You get a little massage, you get a little pep talk, usually from yourself, and you go into it with a winning attitude. A very risky start from Helper with that Sonic Blade, getting in a 31%. Not a whole lot for a deep breathing combo. So Helper is getting off a little bit easy there. All right, and now, ooh. John taking advantage, looking like a completely different player here. Wow, missing the forward smash. Sora just a little too short for it. Yeah, I, was, I mean, I'm a little bit surprised. It's weird because Wii Fit Trainer does have the backward hit of the forward smash, but because she steps forward, it's not actually you know something that you can use to reliably hit behind you, like a down smash. Right. Yeah, that down smash may have been better, though the forward smash may be a little faster. Do forget the frame data on that, but it is very similar. Oh. oh. John is just not falling for these fair one aerial sweeps that Helper's been trying to go for, and he's been getting reversal for it every time. Oh my gosh. Just wow, touching the blast on. zone. Ooh. Blazaga not coming out, saving that for the next oh. session. John is John's playing with his food. He, he could see that Helper was frustrated by that soccer ball, and he just let him waste the counter right there. Yeah. 
Forward throw, finally finding uh -oh. the kill. This is where John excels. We're gonna get the forward air train soon. No. We're reading the roll in, and that just already huge damage on Helper. These back airs have been so good from Helper, Ooh. and he's hoping to maybe recreate the magic that we saw in game one and game two. <sighs> Helper is just it, definitely looking <laughs> Looking lost off stage right now as he has found himself reversal nearly every time. He feels in some way that he has clutched uh, the jaws of he has clutched the jaw a uh, lot. He's uh, he's lost the game in some way, mentally, physically. But he still has an opportunity to bring this back. But he's gotta he's gotta go for these nasty kills. Finally finding the last hit of the aerial sweep, but just barely not able to find the stock. And Helper, is, Helper is so frustrated every time he gets hit. It's just like, really? How dare you grab me there? How dare you F tilt me there? That grab just too short. Was that a three stock? That was indeed a three stock as John moves on in a dominant game three. All right, John, give me some advice here on uh, what exactly to do in a situation like this. My my gosh, what could you have done? It, it just, it really looked like John was just in complete control of that final game. And this is what we say, like, even if it's only a, like a best of three, late set John numbers is a beast. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think John played any better. And I'm, I say this like in all sincerity, what was happening was Helper was going for a lot of these kind of more explosive openings, trying to mm -hmm. exploit John in a different way. And John was playing a very patient game, same as he did before. But instead of like going under the stage, stalling, instead he was trying to recover right un underneath John. He was trying to, you know, hit the ball back. He was trying to force issues instead of just waiting for John to make a mistake. No, I, I 100% agree. Mm -hmm. That entire, that entire game three was John playing the very classic John numbers game plan, of swinging second with punishing, and it's kind I of just a testament to his game knowledge that he's able to punish such a, a typically difficult character to get in on as Sora. And meanwhile, you could see